Have you ever wondered how to get started in the info business? How to make your own course? Well, today I'm gonna help you with that. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. And I'm coming to you from my mobile office, my van. You can see in back, I, oh, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's, uh, I'm following my wife on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, so it, it doesn't, the beauty of having a business, it, this is laptop lifestyle, right? So I have two offices right now. I go to, McDonald's has a really good Wi-Fi. I'm actually parked outside of Lowe's. Uh, Lowe's has a really good Wi-Fi. And uh, so I'm in my van shooting this. And anyway, uh, how the heck can you make an info product? Well, I'm gonna give you four questions that will help you with that. And I got these from Graham Cochran, and, and a lot of people ask the same things. I was just reading his book, and I thought, now this is really cool. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk to you about how to get paid for what you know, for your knowledge. You know, because what you wanna do is when you start an info product, you know it's a $245 billion business and getting larger and larger. It's out there, and it doesn't matter if people are making the same courses that you wanna make, because it's out there and there's a way that you can get your knowledge in front of them. So, so what I wanna do is start, talk to you about how you can start with what you know, what you love or like, and what you're good at, right? And, and you can change on the way. But I want what I wanna do is I want you to start thinking about what is an idea? So you can do a course on how to train dogs, right? My wife could do that because she has unbelievable standard poodle that is so disciplined. Or you can do it on how to cure a slice in golf, or how to lose 10 pounds, or how to knit, how to crochet, how to play guitar. All of these things have been courses that people have made. So and you can do it too. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about the things that you know. So here's the four questions you should ask yourself. Now get out a piece of paper so you can write this down. I want you to write down all the ideas. Just run with them, okay? So the first one is what comes easy to me. So just think about it. Numbers came easy to me. Teaching, that's what I do. That's what I like to do. I used to be a really good athlete. I was a basketball coach. So I'm just throwing out ideas. So write down what you're really good at. Write down about 10 things if you can think of them. Okay, it doesn't matter what order they're in. The next question is, what do people say I'm good at? I mean, if, if you work with your friends, there's people all the time saying, man, you are really good at that. You come across that way really well. See, now I'm not always gonna tell you what I'm good at, but people say I'm a really good listener. I'm really kind of an introvert, I'm kind of shy, but when I engage in a conversation, I'm a good listener, I'm a good questioner. But what are you good at? What do people say you're good at? The third question, what have you helped people with in the past? Right? Maybe you help them on their computer. Maybe you help them upload something. Maybe you help them make a garden. Maybe you help them on their car. Just write down these ideas. Okay, now this is the last one. And you might not do this, but I, this was a really good question. If you had a Saturday afternoon free, free, nothing to do, all Saturday afternoon, and you wanted to learn some things, what would you read about? Or what would you watch? What do you go on YouTube to watch? All right, write all those down. See, now what you wanna do is you, is you wanna look at all those. Not in any order. And see if there's a theme there. And then what I did was write down the top three to five that I really thought I would be good at. And that's what you wanna do. What you're gonna do is narrow down what your big idea is. Now, we're just getting started. Once you get your big idea, I want you to go online and Google it. See if people have done the same thing. Right? And it's okay. Yeah, I teach people how to make online courses. Do you think I'm the only one who does it? There are some rock stars out there to do that. 
but I have a different voice because I was a teacher. So I teach teachers. If you haven't noticed, I'm also a baby boomer, baby boomer. So I teach people that are kind of like me. Now, because I was teaching, I was techie, somewhat techie. So, but I teach dads, I teach moms. So we're going to talk about trying to find a niche. But the biggest thing is I want you to write down three to five really big ideas that you could work with. Hey, that's all I got for you. If you're watching this on YouTube, you know, subscribe to my channel. If you're listening on the podcast, subscribe to the podcast. Go to my YouTube channel. See if you can find me. I have a free ebook, PDF, whatever you want to call it. It's the Ultimate Course Creation Guide. And it helps you with more ideas. You can find it on my website. I'll put a link in it down below. So all you got to do is click on that. And if you ever want to do a brainstorming call, you know, just I have a, a I'll put a link down there to that, but you can go to marknelsonline.com and click that button to schedule a call and find a time that works. Now I'm on the road, so we might have to change some things, but it, I can help you. We can brainstorm a lot. So peace out. Y'all take care. Um, I'm going to spend my afternoon in a Walmart parking lot and across from Lowe's working on my business because of the Wi-Fi Lowe's has and McDonald's in this town was just unbelievably busy. So grab one of those, uh, hit that, the description and hit the link in the description and schedule a call and go get your ultimate course creation guide. You take care.